Why? by Tracy Cordera and Tim Warns. Archie was a reno with a lot of questions. Sometimes, when he was finding answers, Archie made a little bit of mess. Why does toast make crumbs? Why is milk splashy? Why is cereal so soggy, Dad? And sometimes Archie made a lot of mess. Time to clear up, Archie. Oh, uh, okay. Why are there so many bubbles? Why do draw fingers smash? Archie, why don't you go and find Dad? But wherever Archie went, his question went too. Why is mud so sticky, Dad? Why are these roots so long? Why is this water so cold? Archie, I think I heard Mum calling you. Oh, Mum. Why do spiders have so many legs? Ah! Oh! Archie's parents decide that a reno with a lot of questions might, might like a trip to the museum. Come on, Archie! The museum was amazing. There was so much to see. Archie had more questions than ever. Why is the moon like a giant ball? Why do specimens float? Why are little stars so bright and twinkly? Some of his questions were easy to answer. Mum, why aren't there any dinosaurs now? But others were a little more tricky. Dad, why does that man have such big ears? Why is her nose so long? Shh! Not so loud, Archie. Mom, Dad, why is everyone looking at us? Archie loved the museum. There were buttons and knobs and things which bleep, buzz and twanged. Off he went. Air, there, and everywhere. Why? 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 Many wonderful wise later, there was still so much to find out. Dad tell she, now quite sleepy, why do robots go? Oh! Suddenly, all of Archie's questions stopped. He's fallen asleep, little angel. Archie was quiet all the way home. He didn't say a word for tea time or bath time. As they turned out his light, Mum and Dad wondered if Archie had run out of questions completely. But why ever would they think that? Mum, Dad, why aren't you up yet?